What's up, Beautifully Broken? In the interest of a subscriber who happens to be my cousin, I will be attempting to make deeper conversations in my videos from now on. Ooh. There we go. There I am. And her, her request was to the injustice of mental health and health as a, as a general. Um, I do agree that there is great injustice done to the mental health system. People are just brushed aside or lumped together with generalized, you know, they don't have an individual care plan. They're just classified. We'll use me as an example. Classified bipolar one. Here's medication. Go take it. Therapy doesn't work for me. So I take medication. That barely works for me because of what's wrong with my head. Like physically what's wrong with my head. So, medication doesn't really work for me. Whereas, you know, the need for individ more specific, specific, more, yeah, that's right more specific, individualized care plans. I mean, if you get a good, if you go to a good care provider, you'll get your care plan, but so much mental health is overlooked and it's it's downright a shame. It really is. Because I don't see the point. Or, you know... We'll, we'll take the beautifully broken statement. Why did I make the statement beautifully broken? Because everyone is beautiful in their own way. And... Everyone is broken. There are those of us that are way more severely broken than others. And everyone's got different... Everyone's broken in their own special way. You know what I mean? It's... A unique scenario that... Someone's not broken. Like some of my best friends who aren't on medication need to be on medication and they admit that. So they find other ways to cope. Me, medication is one of the only ways that works. So that's what I do. I take medication. And I have, for the most part, a great support system. But... You know, it's just, that's the way it is. I'm actually going to let you guys go for now because I'm actually walking in severe pain. And I'm getting ready to go into the house and make myself something to eat and relax. So I will catch up with you more and we'll talk more on the subject in a little bit. Peace. What's up guys, I'm back. Um, sorry if I'm out of it, I'm in some pretty bad pain. I went and had some x-rays done today. There's a possibility that I have a slipped disc or crushed disc or something in my back because I can't barely bend. And it hurts to walk, sit, stand, crawl. Whole nine yards. So, I don't know, you know, 
It's just one of those things that I just have to deal with. Oh, what's it says? Sorry, I got distracted by my own stuff. Um, so where were we from earlier? Ah, yes. The corruption of the healthcare and mental health care systems. Well, my kid's got issues. Um, it's interesting that my cousin wanted me to talk about it. I don't really keep a, I don't keep up with all of what's going on with, you know, the corruption of the system because. I've never been really big into politics, even though I know it does affect, you know, those of us who are on disability and disabled. So, that's a big issue with us disabled people because, you know, the corruption of the healthcare system is, I mean, it's just, my mom and I were talking the other day about you know, her insurance is able to cover tier three medications when my insurance is only able to cover tier one medications. And the sad thing is, is I understand, but I have no clue what tier three and tier one and tier two and tier four or tier five medications. All around, you guys get what I mean. I have no clue what that means. I mean, I get it, the better your insurance. You know, tier one's here, your Medicaid, Medicare insurance, and then goes up from there, but you guys get what I mean. There we go. There I am. It's just one of those crazy things, you know. I just don't... I don't get why people are so declared and so self-centered when it comes to health insurance. That's why I've always liked Canada, I guess, because... I mean, yes, their taxes is higher because they have to pay for it the insurance, but they get free health care. I mean, come on. That's pretty damn good. At least that's my understanding in that they get free health care. I don't know if that's the actual accurate, you know, accurate statement of it or not, but that's the way I feel. That's the way I've, what I've always been taught and told. If I'm wrong, please do correct me because I don't want to be incorrect. So, you know, it's just one of those things that is interesting and confusing all at the same time because I don't want to, I don't want to say something that's wrong, but I don't want to seem like I'm an idiot either, which I probably do when I'm talking like this because... I haven't kept track of anything like that. I, I know that veterans' benefits are being jacked with now, or at least it's what I th it's, at least it's what I've been told. I don't know what's accurate about that, which you know, Diane's on veterans' benefits, so that's a whole thing, a whole different ballpark entirely. But. I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. And if you're not in the United States, because I know there's a few of you that aren't, I would love to know what the healthcare system is, where you're at, and how it works there, you know. Do you have to pay for extra insurance? Do your parents have to pay for extra insurance in Robbie's case? You know, I just actually a pretty good discussion starter so I would love to know what your thoughts on it all are so for now I'm going to let you go before I do the quote of the day tonight it's been good it's been fun it's been long I will talk to you in a little bit peace what's up beautifully broken it is 10 o'clock at night, and 
I am getting ready to sign off for the night. The hashtag for the QOTD is music is what feelings sound like. I know I have a musician, a few musicians in my family. My nieces are musicians. My brother-in-law is a musician. My cousin is an exceptional saxophone player. Oh, like phenomenal. But uh, all that aside, I would like to get your opinions about that statement. Do you agree that music is what feelings sound like? Because I sure as hell agree with that statement. Well, needless to say, it is 10 o'clock at night, and I have to work in the morning, so I'm going to let you beautiful people go for the night, and with that, all I have to do is say thank you for joining me today. If you're new, and you liked my discussion about dis or mental health today, Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, don't give it a thumbs down. Just don't come back. <laughs> um, but if you did like it, come back tomorrow because there will be more. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. It really is one of those things that does help me out knowing that you guys care and pay attention and watch and like and comment on my videos. It really does show that people actually do listen to what I have to say. Um, and as Jonathan Thaga said, as long as I can reach one person, that's all that matters. So that's how I feel. So thank you for joining me today. And all I have to do is say one thing and one thing alone. Just because you're broken doesn't mean you're not beautiful. I can't wait to see your beautiful faces tomorrow.